Keith, we are just off to help Amanda at the charity auction. The what? Uh, I emailed you about it three weeks ago. Oh, yeah, the charity auction. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Fucking wankers. Morning, boys. How's it going, boss? George, why are your shirt and vest on back to front? They told me it was backwards before. Isn't this the right way? Oh, sorry, Keith, bro. We're only mucking around with old Georgie. And hey, hey, George, I'm sorry. I won't do anything like that again. <laughs> they took my shoes as well. Um, Keith. Hi. <laughs> Can I have a word with you at some stage? Not now, Darren. My name's Oliver. Swift and Ship Couriers. They want us to move a motor scooter. Jan, do we move motor scooters? I don't know. Keith, will we do a motor scooter? Yeah, scooters are okay, but no bikes and nothing over 120 cc's. I'm um, Keith. I was wondering if I could swap workspaces with Clarissa. Why? Because Oliver and Leanne are having a personality clash, Keith. You mean Darren? <phone rings> Hello? Keith, it's Amanda here. Now, Melissa, your sales rep, has organised an antique children's ride as part of our contribution for this children's charity lunch auction. So can you talk to Melissa? Can you organise a courier, get the details and send it over? How big is this bloody ride? Oh, can you stop crying like a little girl? Just get it here and don't stuff it up because Jonathan, the MD, wants it for his nephew. Very well, Amanda. God, I hate that woman. Amanda from head office. God, she's a real turd. Wasn't she the one that cut back on our toilet paper? Keith! Well, can we change spaces? Excuse me, can I have your attention? Somebody has stolen one of my diet yogurts from the fridge again. I'd like to know who that person was. Leanne? Oh, spare me. Mate, I can't believe those pricks cancelled my licence. Oh, I don't mean to be rude, boy. Why didn't you just get a tow truck, man? I did that first, bro. But by using you guys, saved myself eight bucks. I'm Amanda Doyle, the new regional manager of Swift and Shift. The courier business should be simple, really. You, the client, phones our call centre and tells us what's going where. The radio room should organise a competent driver to take your package from A to B on time. It seems so simple. So why does Keith's depot always manage to stuff it up? Hello, Swift and Shift courier. Man, um, can you watch that, man? Is anyone going to be at your place when I drop this off? No, no, I've got to go back to work, but leave the bike on the driveway and put the keys in the gnome. <laughs> the what? The gnome. <laughs> the Hold on. The gnome. The what? Gnome. Hello? Hey, it's me. Did you find out whether Leanne had a boyfriend or not? No, nah, I couldn't find nothing out, mate. The dwarf said he didn't know nothing. Hold on a second. What did you say before? Uh, gnome. What is that? It's like a small uh, ceramic elf. Well, you got a smurf in the front. No, no. It's more like an elf. A smurf? No, no. Smurfs are different, man. They're oh. blue. Gnomes do shit, you know? Work windmills, fish, you know? Hey, don't, don't touch it, man. I'll do it all right. All right. Sorry, Luigi. What were we talking about, man? Yeah, you said the little smurf didn't find anything out about big tits. I don't even know what you asked that dickhead for. It's an absolute garden name. Little tic-tac shit that he is. Hold on, man. Hey, you forgot your keys, mate! No, I told you, mate, put them underneath the gnome! Yeah. The gnome! What do you understand about the gnome? All right, yes. Chloe, oh, hang on a sec. Hey, dickhead, watch where you're going, use your indicator. What? Watch where you're going, you dickhead! Screw you, you two-bit mother! You want to go me? Me? You're a puss, mate! Pull over, you dickhead! Pull over, mate. Hello, folks. I'm running a sweep on the footy. You want in? I can't understand you, Jimmy. Can you speak slowly and clearly, dickhead? Come on! Pull over, you dickhead! I'll tie you up like a pretzel and I'll fucking eat you. You understand? Can you believe this, Blank? He reckons I'm hard to understand. Fair dickum. Bro, that's because you are hard to understand, mate. Fucking bullshit. David, your ex-wife is on line four. Can you stop giving her my extension? 
I'm busy with clients. Oh, piss off, mate. I'm trying to get that fucking bitch to leave me alone. I owe money and shit like that. I don't want to deal with it. You fucking deal with it. What do you want, Fuckram? My shirt is too big. Uh, you're going to need to go and see Keith, buddy. Keith, yeah. there's a client on line six that wants to speak to you. He's very upset. Oh, it's not that bloody florist again, is it? He says he'll only speak to the manager. And that's you, Keith. Yeah, all right. Thanks. Hello, Swift and Shift Operations Manager, Keith Warren speaking. Hello. I have a complaint. I sent some flowers to North Southern Phil, and the driver, he's too early. I'm sorry, our driver was too early? Yes! He was supposed to be there at 1 o'clock lunchtime for a big surprise, but he was there at 12 o'clock. And now, my customer, he's complaining. He's quite upset. Yeah, just a moment, I'll put you on hold. Just one sec. Hello? David, flowers to North Haddonfield. Apparently they're early. Sort it out, will you? Yeah, no worries, Keith, mate. What do you want? My shirt is too big. Louis, I need you to text me the number of that mechanic you got to fix my van. Why? Well, mate, the van's blowing a lot of smoke. Now, that's normal when you change your head gasket, bro. Oh, the gaskets, really? So this is normal? Yeah, you got to run it in. Yeah. All right, then. Hello, Abdul. Space three and a half here, mate. Your last job, the flowers are early. What's going on, bro? Look, can I talk to you in two minutes? I'm eating my breakfast burger. You know that food's not halal, mate? There's nothing wrong with that shirt. No, I disagree. It's too big. Excuse me, Keith. Do you have a moment? There's been a situation regarding stealing from the fridge. Oh, look, I'm, I'm really busy at the moment, Darren. It's Oliver, actually. I'm sorry. Look, send me an email, will you, Darren? I'm, I'm really busy. Boss, I've got your paper. Oh, good. Thanks. Uh, and Anthony, see if you can get a smaller shirt for old matey, will you? My name is Vikram. Yeah, yeah, OK, OK, OK. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hello, Swift and Shift, Keith speaking. Keith, it's Melissa. I know you're really busy, but you know that um, kid's ride that Amanda wanted for the charity auction? What's the problem? They sent old Bill and his missus, and he reckons he can't lift it into the van. Picky. Ah, it is too big. Look, look. Be the man you say you are. Well, who said Bill bloody Beasley? Keith. Listen, Melissa, I'll get dispatched to send out another driver, OK? You try it. You're I'm, big enough. I'm a woman. I'm the gentle sex, oh. not the man. That lets you out of it all, then. Now, Leanne, what's up? Look, Oliver is accusing me of stealing his yoghurt. Oh. And, look, I just feel uncomfortable because he's, like, accusing me and stuff. Well, did you steal his yoghurt? No. I didn't steal Oliver's yoghurt. Well, you've got nothing to worry about, then. All right. Who put Bill Beasley on the bloody rocket ride? Uh, that was me, Keith. Why? Oh, what? You know he can't handle heavy jobs. Why didn't you send the twins? I thought it was a toy rocket. No, it's not a toy. It's a ride. A kid's ride. And Amanda from head office wants it on time. I don't want any mistakes because she enjoys breaking my balls. She is a bitch. <laughs> Sounds like my ex-wife, bro. My shirt was not replaced. Anthony, where's Anthony? Anthony, what are you fucking doing in our toilet? Kept from the loading box that we're showing the toilets now. I don't fucking think so. Hello, twins. Base five here. Have you finished the last job? Hey, Lennon. Yeah, we're still at the picker. They've got a quad bike for sale. We're just taking a look. Hang on a second. Wait. What do you reckon? Should we get it? Maybe. Not sure yet. Hey, forget about the bloody quad bike. Oh. I want the dog over in Nan. <laughs> Tell him to get going. This guy's going to bloody buy it or what? <laughs> Jim. Try aggro for me, will you? See how he's going with that truck. Place two, aggro. Yeah, you travelling, brother? No, I'm, I'm stuck at the uh, at the Weybridge, mate. Yeah, the RTA are going over the truck. Could be here a while. Aggro. Keith, Keith, mate. 
You sound like you're at the pub, mate. Oh, well, yeah. No, I am. Well, yeah, I am in the pub. Uh... Yeah, no, to save some time, I'm grabbing a quick bite to eat while they're doing the hey, truck. They're not looking for me, are they? Hey, Keith? I better go, mate. Because they're, uh, they're waving at me, the RTA guys. Yeah, they must be through with the truck. I'll bet he's at that pub with the topless waitresses. Harvey's luck. Well, I need a driver. Who's free? Well, Jackie's fucking lost again. His GPS is fucked up. Where are we? Lost, 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 my cousin Sole, he's turning around. You turn, you turn, you turn, you turn, you turn. He was meant to go to Bathurst Street, but his GPS took him to Bathurst instead. Bathurst? In the mountains? Stop it, GSP! Uh, look, look! Uh, you made me drive all the way upside down the mountain, and now I've wasted all my monies on the petrol! Uh, where am I gonna get the monies for the petrol? You stupid GSP! In 400 kilometers, turn left, coconut. So is there something wrong with the GPS systems? It's not the GPS that's the problem. Half the blokes don't even speak English, bro. Um, Keith, I have a witness here as to who's been stealing the yogurts. Yeah, um, Keith, it was Kevin, you know that big Maori guy from the loading dock? Oh. And he's also been using the girls' toilets. Renzo, go and have a chat to Kevin for me, will you? What? Just hold on a moment. I'm I'm actually on the phone with the florist again. Hello? I'm getting too upset here, because you're putting me on hold. Sorry. Um, now you're saying the flowers are late. Weren't they early? No! They was the other flowers. Are you stupid? Can I speak to your manager, please? Um, just one moment, please. I'll put you on hold. Hello? Keith, can't you speak to Kev? No. Darren, L, back to work. You want me to get Mario to get the rocket? He's only on one job so far. He'll be sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah do that. Anthony? Anthony? Fucking hurry up! Listen, if you rush me, I can't get it out. Keith, the florist wants to talk to you again. Oh, Keith, shit. can you please ask Oliver to apologise to me? Now we know it's not me stealing his yoghurt. Hello, sweet and shit, I don't know who this mechanic is, mate, but I'm going to smash him. I don't know what the fuck you're on about. My man is full of smoke now, look, like on the inside. I can't even see the road. You wanted a cheap mechanic, I got you one. What more do you want? Come on, mate, you retarded, sign here, will you? I hope them steroids shrink your balls even more, mate. Hello, Mario, base three and a half. I'm gonna go, base is calling me. Hey, if you're ringing me about the scooter job, I am on the way, all right? Yeah, look, turn around, mate. I'm sending you an address. It's a VIP job for the boss. If it's for Keith personally, no worries, man. He will definitely be there. Just get just over there. It's that chick's girlfriend's place, so you shouldn't have any trouble finding it. And don't stuff it up. Those bloody Marys down in the loading dock took my diet sprite as well. And it was a two litre. Swift and shift couriers. What's wrong? Keith is making me discipline Kevin in the loading dock. So? He's a Maori. He'll probably punch me. He's not going to punch you. Look, this might be Keith sizing you up for assistant manager. I don't think I can deal with any extra stress. Don't be such a wimp. We need the money. Nobody's touched your bloody yoghurt, Oliver. I was just checking the fridge. Yellow. Hey, Agro. You might want to let Kev know. He's in the shit with Keith. Right, mate. Renzo's going to have a word with him later. Kev, Kev, we better get back to base, mate. You're in the shit with some bloke called Renzo? What does that fat dick want with me? Hi, it's Melissa. Can you put me through to Keith? Oh, hold on, hold on. Don't worry. The driver's here now. Oh, God, not Mario. Yeah. <laughs> 
and she comes from through the smoke. Geez, you look good. Sorry about that. Like, the van's just like a bit out of tune. Yeah, look, we really need to get this moving. You don't have to act all what business business. I mean, man, we went out for six months. Mario, you really need to get going, OK? This is for a function for head office. Just because you got a promotion to sales rep doesn't mean you're better than me, all right? I'm not just a worker. I mean, I remember you in the toilet of the Christmas party, and I even got photos of it. You still got those? Uh, well, delete them, Mario, OK? It's over. Now, will you just get going? Oh, joking, mate. How heavy is this thing? What's going on? I don't know, mate. This is my job. Well, why did they send me here? Man, I don't know. You might just have to speak to the little Smurf, cos he booked me in, you understand? God help me. I'm going to speak to that. Oh, shit, I swear, bro. I'm sick of being stuffed around! You might want to put your arm down, mate, cos you got that body odor coming off you, and it's not real pleasant. I hate that midget! <laughs> getting squashed. Pull over somewhere. Give it some air. Oh, fuck! Go and get him! What's this? Oh, bullshit! Fucking florist! Hello, base. Why are you giving us a florist job at Putney? It's the opposite side of town of where the dog's going. I'm sorry, bro, but look, Keith wants someone to do the job properly and someone reliable. Abdullah stuffed up again. Renzo, have you spoken to Kev yet? No, not yet, Keith. And I'm back on the phone with the florist and they really want to speak with you again. Mate, you are doing a great job with that one. Keep it up. David, is Mario on his way with the rocket yet? I'll check that for you, mate. Mario. Come in, Mario. Oh, look, I'll just give him a call on his mobile. <laughs> Mate, why aren't you on the radio? <laughs> what? Don't tell me there's a problem with the rockets. No, nah, man, there's no problem at all, all right? Look, I just stopped the toilet break and, um, I've just ran the corner, I think. Oh, fuck! Hello, Mario. Uh, don't worry, man, it's all good. He's just around the corner, he reckons. Oh, good. Is there any reason you're still here? He said he's getting a smaller shirt. Hello, Amanda. Keith. The rocket ride is on its way. <laughs> no, won't be long now. Amanda. Enjoy yourself. You are cutting this very bloody fine. The auction starts in about 20 minutes. It's just around the corner. Don't worry. It'll be there. He says it's just around the corner. I've seen the dispatchers. If he says that, it means they've got no idea where the package <sighs> is. They do say that, yes. Oh, Anthony, where is old mate shirt? Vikram. I told him there's no smaller shirts, but he won't leave, bro. I'm sorry, Keith. It's the florist again. Oh, fuck! Hello? What seems to be the problem now? Well, the problem is that first, you are early. Then, you lose all the balloons. And now, this dog is totally making the destruction of my flowers! Oh, you stupid dog! Oh, shit! Look, I'm very, very sorry. I'll put you back to customer service and they'll organise a discount for you, OK? Hello? Hello? I do not want to speak to that fucking florist again! OK, Renzo? I'm sorry, Keith. And if you don't stop following me, I'll fucking fire you! T. 
Jeez, Keith looks like he's about to lose it. Swift and shift couriers. We'll be off a little drinky poo, I'd say. I'm sorry, sir, what's the problem? Uh, listen, earlier today, I got your company to transport my motor scooter from Brighton to Hashfield. I sometimes smell it on his breath, but you never see him. He's got a little spot down the back of the loading dock. You know? I need some alcohol. I need some alcohol. I need some alcohol. I need some alcohol. Hello, Oh, hey! Where the fuck is Rinzo? Excuse me, where did you get that yogurt from? Sorry, sir, I'm gonna have to put you through to customer service. Renzo, there's a complaint on job number 4532. Oh, no. Another one. Um, hello? Oh, Renzo, I heard you wanted to see me, cuz. Just one moment, please. Don't make me wait, bro. Um, hello, customer service. Yeah, listen, earlier today, I got your uh, company to transport my motor scooter from Brighton to Hashfield. Now, I'm back in my office now in the city, and I'm uh, looking out the window, and I can notice that your driver is riding my motor scooter. Could you explain that to me, please? Excuse me, look out. Get out of, get out of the way, mate. Watch out, you get hit. Yes, and he seems to be um, towing something. Yeah, I can see him now. What, what, what makes you think that I wouldn't know my bike if I'm looking out the window where I want to see it? Stupid GPS! I've done three lefts! I'm going in a circle! Are you sure it was one of our drivers? Are you fucking trying to get me in trouble with the bus, bro? Keith! What? what, George? They're fighting. Who's fighting? The people upstairs. Oh! Hello, Amanda. Keith, where is my bloody rocket? Where the fuck am I? Hello, Melissa speaking. Uh, Melissa, hey, it's me. Listen, I need, like, a really big favour, do you mind? I thought I told you not to call me anymore. Hey, hey, it's for your stupid ride to get to that bloody place, all right? I've lost my GPS as fuck. I need you to come down and give me a street directory so I can find this wherever I'm going. You haven't delivered the ride yet? What in the fuck have you been doing? Hey, hey! Oh, shit! Fuck, shit! Come on, mate! Go, go! Go, go! Some fucking Aboriginal guys, some Chinese guys, and I think a couple of Islanders. They just took the ride, mate! Oh my God, you're full of shit. Every time you stuff something up, you want to blame the same three ethnic groups. You expect me to believe that someone would steal that ride? Oh, I'm near a housing commission. They probably stole it because their kids can't afford video games. My kids are going to love this. Look, pull the cops. I'm going to go by. What the fuck was that noise? Hi, Mario. It's space three and a half, man. Smurf, hello. Listen, man. The rocket and the scooter have been stolen. But I'm on the back of the youth that's taken them. Molly, shut the fuck up, everyone! Hey, Mario, hey, what's going on with the rocket? It's the Islanders, Aboriginal guys, and Chinese, all of them as a gang. Hello? Smurf? Shut the fuck up, everyone! Smurf, man, hello, Smurf. Smurf. Mario to Smurf. Hello? Is this the police? Look, I want to report a, a stolen rocket ride. If I'm nice to Kevin, maybe he'll stop teasing me. Hey, guys, come on! Everybody, settle down! Hey! Hey, Kevin, I brought you another yogurt from the fridge. They're free, everybody! Fucking Kevin! What are you fucking idiots looking at? You wanna have a go? Bring it on, mate! <laughs> In breaking news, a courier was bashed and stabbed in Bogan Hills. Where is my bloody rocket? And an antique children's ride was set alight and thrown onto a police car.